Good morning. Here we go. Hey, I put some. Uh, I put a clip in here. Just put it on the timeline. And uh, I noticed we did an upgrade to Caden Live yesterday. Actually, I went in and upgraded it. Uh, my OS is Linux Mint, and what I'm going to do is uh, I made a couple titles real quick, and we'll put that one there, and put the other one. Okay, I'll show you how I do this. I like two titles, I like I make the same stuff. I kind of overlap them a little bit. Oops. So, uh, control home. Uh, space bar, we'll get it going. And it says, the new version of Caden Live 20.08.2. And, uh, Just to show you. There it is. 20.08.2. The MLT, the way I'm getting it, to Mint, it's through their software thing. It's through Flatpak, but it's been working good. 6.21, I think there's a 6.23 out there, but they haven't upgraded that yet. It's okay. And what I've done is uh, I want to throw in a few effects. I made two titles already. And uh, well, everything seems to work good. So uh, I'm going to go in here. And first thing I'm going to do, timeline is uh, ungrouped clips. Hit that one. Because that's the audio, and I don't really have any audio on there. I'm going to extract that, delete that right there. I want to keep the size of the uh, clip down to the minimum. We'll go in here. Double click transform. Shows up here. And I moved this over a little. You know, if you use the effects setup they have, they have the clip thing down on the timeline. That works pretty good. In fact, I'll show you. Next. They've made the control of the transform, like the one I just put in here, is bigger, and the clips are smaller. And then I get rid of that. I don't need. And uh, if I, uh, I can see, I have four lines for video and four for audio because I like to stack stuff like titles I think it looks kind of cool the one coming in here and then the other one comes in underneath and uh, that's cool and of course as I've showed you before um, I like to fade out my titles. I don't know. I'm kind of weird. I'm going to fade those two out. Just highlight them, double click, boom, boom. And uh, see which one is this. That's the one that I want to uh, edit because I forgot something on this one. Forgot to do the shadow. It just makes it look cleaner. And we'll update the title. We'll go back to uh, Project Manager. Control Home. So this is the standard effects minus in 20.08.1 that first came out with. And I've been playing around with it. Like, it's cool. Gives you kind of a a lot of room to mess with the bin you just throw it in there so if you re preload your bins you just gotta go look for them let's go in and do 
Transform. And we'll go to the first keyframe, and it's 100. And we're going to drag this baby out a little bit here to the titles. I'm going to create a keyframe. We'll go 160. And then we'll uh, move. Let's see, we started here. It was it moved up to 160. It goes back over here, and we're gonna do a keyframe. Get it back to 100. Okay. So I added two keyframes and transform. What I noticed, everything is uh, working fine. I did a. I noticed on the last one, if I would do a change speed and then do a transform, or a transform then a change speed, it kind of messed up the uh, zoom. So I'm going to try that and see if it, it's been corrected. So we zoom in, zoom out, blah, blah, blah. We're back to 100. We're going here. I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to add a, a keyframe again. I'll make it uh, 150. Yeah, stupid mouse. Let's do one five oh. One five oh. I don't need to use the mouse, but then we gonna start it up again. What I want to see is I'm gonna do a uh, change speed after putting in these uh, keyframes. And see if it looks similar. So, the Sacramento River, yeah, about two years ago, I think, maybe two and a half. Just found the video, I started using it. Sometimes I shoot video and it just sits there and I haven't done anything. And I go through my video, wow, that'll work good. And here's the old Honey Star. I'm gonna drop, drop that. I'm going to add another keyframe. I do like the effect. It gives you more room to see your keyframes. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, click in that box. Let me just go back. Or delete. We'll do 100. Oops. Delete one. 100. Click in here. And now it's going to look like it's going to pull away a little bit across the river. Minor stuff. The whole video, whoopee. The keyframes didn't advance from where they were. I mean, it's subtle, but... So if you're going to do a change speed, you're going to want to do that before you add keyframes. Because now I don't have keyframes on the buildings. To prove that, go back to change speed. Now remember where these were. And uh, we'll change that to uh, 100. Boom. And we'll do a uh, control home. So that was interesting. And it's just a little minor thing. If you're going to do a change speed, do it before you start adding effects because it's going to mess you up. But you know, I've rendered. Um, the times are quick. Okay, now we or see if the keyframes are going to do what I wanted to do. 
then we're going up to back to a hundred. Back up to we're watching over here. This is my keyframes transform. Going back to 150. And then I have my final keyframe. But all in all, I think the new version fixed a ton of glitches. It's online, cadenlive.org. You can go in there and read about it all. Um, don't know about the audio that was acting weird before, but everything. I'm going to do a quick render. And uh, <laughs> the project thing. They moved the render button down in here. No big deal. And uh, we'll call it Untitled. And I do have all 16 threads in here. It picked it up from before. Oh, it renders pretty quick anyway. This is a pretty short video. And it hasn't, uh, not too many effects. There's a minute 13. I'll be quicker than that. I did a, yeah, a 19 minute video the other day in uh, the dot one version. And I didn't do a whole lot, a few effects, a bunch of titles all spread throughout. And it did it in about six minutes, so it was nice. I hardly ever use the wipe. It's just, I just do the fade in and out. I don't know. Okay, so we're almost done with this. I just want to show you the time. Might do a time warp. I waste all that time. Minute eight. Finished. And the total uh, video here is uh, a minute and a half with a few zoom in and outs. That's about it. And, and basically, uh, your two titles. That's it. Okay. I'm going to see how it looks. Talk to you later. Bye.